sister Aisha in the eighth question, is it acceptable for parents to refuse marriage based on ethnicity and not being a citizen of the country? Note that my parents are Sufi and I am uh, not, and I'm 29 years old. There are more than one question in one, or more than one aspect discussed in your question. Number one, with regards to refusing the proposal because of different ethnicities or different backgrounds. Al-Kafa'a is the qualification. The husband must be qualified to marry this bride. Uh, qualified to her, qualified to meet the requirements of the whole family. And the kafa'a which all the scholars agree to, and which Al Imam Malik ibn Anas, may Allah have mercy on him, said that is the only mean of the kafa'a, the quality, is a deen. If the person is religiously committed, and if the person has good manners, honesty, and trustworthiness, then he's qualified. He relied on a sound hadith in which the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَأَمَانَتَهُ فَزَوِّجُوا إِلَّا تَفْعَلُوا تَكُنْ فِتْنَةٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَفَسَادٌ عَرِيدٌ Whenever somebody proposes to a girl whom you trust his deen and his manners, then you should accept that proposal. You should give him your daughter in marriage. If he's qualified in addition to other means of qualifications, but the main and the most important quality is a religious commitment and the manners. Well, if you don't, because he is not from your locality or from you, not from your family, or his family is inferior to your family, as a result of that, or he does not speak our language, as a result of that, an Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that would lead to the widespread of mischief and corruption on earth. And the practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the loudest proof in this regard. He gave his cousin Zainab bint Jahsh, whom later on became his wife. He gave her in marriage to one who used to be a slave, Zayd ibn Haritha. And she is Zainab Qurashiyah. Qurashiyah belong to the tribe of Quraysh, which is the most noble tribe. But Zayd ibn Haritha is a believer. And he is a black slave. It doesn't matter but he's qualified because of his religious qualities. Then later on, the Prophet ﷺ gave Fatima bint Qais, another noble woman, to his son, Usama ibn Zayd ibn Haritha, Usama the son of Zayd, who was another, uh, uh, Zayd ibn Haritha was a slave, and he gave him Zainab bint Jahsh in marriage. So that blows any suggestion of, oh, but he's from a noble family, she's from a noble family, and he is from an inferior family. According to Al-Imam Malik, what really counts is the qualification of a deen and the manners. Of course, Al-Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have missed on him, uh, widened the area of Al-Kafa and he suggested the language and who accepted Islam before and the parents, the family lineage and wealth and the language and all of that. But I refer to the most sound view in this regard. Huda TV's social media sites are the best way to contact us from anywhere around the world. Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and Instagram. It's fast and easy. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV. A light in every home.